shot anyway. How's that sound? Yeah, that's Wasn't that cool? Come on. Crank it, man. We have a color. We have a color. Here she goes. Come on over. Take that big lever on top, throw it forward. Just push it forward. Fish on. Okay, right there. Number two. He's on the deck. That's a little better fish. No day. Come on. Remember when we spent about 16 hours out here and didn't catch anything? That was called paying our team. <laughs> Hi folks, and welcome to Get Real Fishing. I'm your host, Captain Dave Adrian, bringing you some of the most exciting angling adventures in western New York and beyond. In this episode, we'll be bluefin tuna fishing in the Atlantic Ocean off Cape Cod with Captain Bill Strakel and my brother Jeff. We've featured the Cape Cod area in several shows in the past with stripers and chasing small bluefin tuna but the tuna have always eluded us. On this clear September morning, we were anxious to take advantage of some really good fishing reported to be several miles offshore in the Atlantic. And winding our way through the channels of Pleasant Bay near Chatham, I'm reminded of some great fishing trips my family and I have experienced here in the past. And here's Captain Bill to explain our plan of attack for today. Okay, our plan this morning is to head out to the uh, to a site called the Regal Sword, which is a wreck out in 210 feet of water, uh, about 30 miles off uh, Chatham Inlet, and about 15 miles, uh, I'd say, north of uh, Nantucket. Uh, large uh, amount of uh, school bluefin tuna with some uh, mixed-sized 100, 200-pound fish mixed in. Uh, hopefully, we can get some on a troll, and uh, also uh, maybe we throw some flies out of it. We come up on the top and. Uh, Knows, we might be able to get a chance to, to throw a fly at them. That'd be cool. Cool. We can do that. So we headed out through Pleasant Bay toward Chatham Inlet and eventually the ocean, hoping to hook up with some great eating and hard fighting bluefin tuna. Stick around, folks. We'll be right back with some awesome bluefin tuna fishing in the Atlantic off Cape Cod. They came from every corner of the country. From small towns and big cities. But they all shared one thing in common. They belonged to a family called Marines. A tough and determined few dedicated to protecting everything we hold sacred. And still they come. Celebrate the history of those proud few who have earned the title Marine. Hi, I'm Russell Simmons. Today I want to talk to you about a very important subject, and it's cruelty to animals. Emmy was a victim of cruelty, and someone did something about it. Someone called the ASPCA and put an end to it, because Emmy can't talk. The fact is, animals are abused all over this country, and people sit by and do nothing. It's not slick or fly or cool or none of that. It's just cruel. If you're aware of any animal abuse, go to ASPCA.org to find out what you can do. Now, make a difference. She can't do it for herself. It starts in your own neighborhood. When you care enough to give your time to help someone still learning the way and getting involved in the needs of your community. Once you've helped bring a smile to someone's face and help brighten their day, you'll be hooked for life. The Major League Baseball Players Trust and Volunteers of America are teaming up to make a real difference in the lives of the people in our communities. Join a winning team. See what you can do to help. 
Welcome back to Get Real Fishing. If you've just joined us, we're bluefin tuna fishing in the Atlantic Ocean off Cape Cod with Captain Bill Strakel and my brother Jeff Adrian in early September. Here Bill sets an outrigger to troll for tuna in about 150 feet of water. Put the uh, green machine, daisy chain out, uh, there's your stinger hook, just like a 9 odd mustad with a, with a moon bird up forward of it. Just give it a little, uh, make a splash around a little bit. We're using a uh, little overkill here, but these are uh, 50 BSWs, they're two speed, 50 pound flash rods and drills. Outriggers are commonly used in saltwater as a way of spreading the trolled presentation of lures on either side of the boat. Made of fiberglass, the outriggers are mounted on the side of the boat, and the trolling line, seen here in red, is run from the fishing pole to a line on the outrigger, then sent back behind the boat. This way, the angler can cover more water with less tangles and hopefully more hookups. As Captain Bill describes our second trolling rig, we get a hookup on the first rod. Bill looks back suspiciously, then the rod jerks and bends towards the release, which was set too tight, and the outrigger snaps. Surprisingly, we still have the fish on. So, not five minutes into fishing, Jeff was fighting our first bluefin tuna. This was amazing for me because I had spent hours chasing breaking schools of fish in the past with no success. And on this, his first day, we were into fish within minutes. I saw birds working there. I thought they were just attracted to the... They, they, they were just looking at the bird. Okay, okay. You know, you know, yeah. They were looking red, that's all. Notice how we slow the boat down when the fish is hooked, keeping him up in the water column. This makes it easier to manage than if we were to allow the tuna to dive and have to retrieve it vertically to the boat. Then, when the fish is near the boat, Bill puts the motor in neutral to land the fish. Only this time, it shakes free at the last moment. Guys, they, they grow to be a thousand pounds. Oh, man. 
<clears throat> Put it back out again, we'll get another one. Awesome. Wow. I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Too easy. There it is. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Too easy. <laughs> You did not deserve that. You should have been paying some more dues. <laughs> Undaunted by our early loss, we quickly reset, and to our amazement, we were hooked up again in just a few minutes. There you go. All right. That, that's the clicker. You'll hear that when it goes off, okay? Take that big lever on top, throw it forward. Just push it forward. Fish on. Okay, right there. Number two. Number two. this line. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. You want them straight still, right, Bill? What? You want them straight behind the boat still, right? Yep. You don't want to put slack in that line? Two minutes after the last fish. Just hold on, just hold on. This time it appeared to be a bigger fish, and Jeff was fitted with a more substantial fighting belt. This hook you up here makes it a little bit easier. Okay. Yeah, too quick. Okay, so now you, now you can essence, you can let the rod go oh, a little bit. Yeah. See how it is? Yeah. All right, I'll just slow the boat down a little bit. Don't, don't rush him. Yeah, don't, don't rush him. Oh, look at him back. Nice and easy. You're, you're steering him, you're not pulling him. Basically, he's going to swim. He's going to basically let him do what he wants yeah. to do. Okay. Guiding. That was a nice hit. Yeah. Number two. Remember when you were just catching walleye? <laughs> How many years have I trying to tell you to come out Stick here? Stick around, folks. We'll be right back to watch Jeff land this tour. Oh, no. I got to coach football. Oh. For more than half a century, we've been there when called. When the Korean conflict erupted, we were there. So soon. When needed in Southeast Asia, we were there. When you witnessed the Gulf War on TV, we were there. And when needed at home, we are there every day. Whenever and however we're needed, we are there. We've been protecting freedom for more than 50 years. From Korea to the war on terrorism, we've stood ready to serve. We are the men and women of the Air Force Reserve, always there, always ready to go above and beyond. Do you know how many kids are risking their health by eating unhealthy foods, stuffing themselves, and not getting any exercise? Oh, thank goodness, you got here just in time. Where's the problem? In there. But doctors know that our children need to be pointed in the right direction when it comes to food. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? I can't control him. He won't listen to me. Mom, they're taking my ice cream. Pass me those veggie burgers. Here, try this, the original fast food. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, high fiber vegetarian foods can help them grow up healthy. To find out more, call for a free booklet or visit our website, kidsgethealthy.org. Thanks. Well, another family turned around and 200 million to go. Welcome back to Get Real Fishing, folks. I'm Captain Dave Adrian, fishing for Bluefin Tuna off Cape Cod, Massachusetts. My brother Jeff is hooked up with our second fish of the morning with Captain Bill Strakel of Outer Cape Angle. And the, the funny thing is you never know they were here. No, you wouldn't. It, yeah. They're all blind hits. 
uh, you know, it makes it that what makes it difficult to get a good cast on them. Uh, the fish in Cape Cod Bay have been schooling up real good, so and showing on the surface, so you have a, you have a good opportunity to uh, to get them on a, on a cast. Mm -hmm. But these fish, you'd never know they were here. You know the cool thing about it? There isn't a little boat around. Yeah, hello. So you keep trolling, you keep moving forward. You don't want to put any chance of having any slack in the line. Is that it? Yep. Just want to keep that line as tight as possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can let go of them. Yeah. These fish, you really don't need a harness. I mean, because they're small enough. They really overpower them with this gear anyway. So. It's all right. Spent a lot of time playing a fish on light, light gear. Oh, let's see if we get one on that spin rod. If we get one up there on the uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what size he is here, right? Yeah. yeah. No, he's got a little more. Are you okay with the song like that? Uh, no, but I'll look. We have color. Oh. He's on the deck. That's a little better fish. Huh? That's a little better fish. Look at that. And after countless <laughs> hours of chasing tuna around the ocean in previous years, Jeff finally boats our first bluefin. Bill immediately bleeds the fish to prevent spoiling. So what do you do? Now you're gonna bleed them out? Yep. So loose them around the tail. Just tail around the throat here. Which one do you want to do that right away? Look forward with it. So you're taking the kills right out. Here, Captain Bill removes the gills and guts and then ices the fish down quickly. So what's the general consensus on the, the, the bluefin uh, population? I mean, they feel that- There's a million little ones around. The big ones are in, uh, well, I wouldn't say they're endangered, but they're just not here in the numbers that they used to be. Right. It turns out that it was no coincidence that the spot we chose to fish that day was a good one. This satellite thermal imaging reveals that colder water shown here in blue may have concentrated the bait fish, which in turn probably attracted the tuna. As with most game and forage fish, water temperature has a strong influence on where they will be found. That's what she's looking like in the water. 
With one fish in the box, we reset the lines and once again we were on to another bluefin tuna. This time, however, it was on the spinning rod. I wasted no time in volunteering to do battle with this, our third fish of the day. I found the fight of the tuna to be similar to a salmon with strong head shakes and the tendency to sound, which sometimes resulted in a virtual standoff. <laughs> oh Dave, come on. Remember when we spent about 16 hours out here and didn't catch anything? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was called paying our due. <laughs> we'll catch it today. We were fishing, now we're catching. Yep. Unfortunately, this and another fish got off after a short battle which was fine with us because we had enough for dinner and we would have let them go anyway. Stick around folks, we'll be right back with the conclusion of bluefin tuna fishing off Cape Cod. Can you get him up close here? What I'll do is I'll just I'll grab the leader, bring him up, I'll tail him, get him up, get snap fishing and you drop him, okay? serves a sentence with you. It starts in your own neighborhood when you care enough to give your time to help someone still learning the way and getting involved in the needs of your community. Once you've helped bring a smile to someone's face and help brighten their day, You'll be hooked for life. The Major League Baseball Players Trust and Volunteers of America are teaming up to make a real difference in the lives of the people in our communities. Join a winning team. See what you can do to help. Hi, I'm Russell Simmons. Today I want to talk to you about a very important subject, and cruelty to animals. Emmy was a victim of cruelty, and someone did something about it. Someone called the ASPCA and put an end to it, because Emmy can't talk. 
fact is, animals are abused all over this country, and people sit by and do nothing. It's not slick or fly or cool or none of that. It's just cruel. If you're aware of any animal abuse, go to ASPCA.org to find out what you can do. Now, make a difference. She can't do it for herself. Welcome back to Get Real Fishing for Bluefin Tuna off Cape Cod, Massachusetts. After a decent morning fishing with five hookups and one in the box, we decided to call it a day. Here, Captain Bill Strakel demonstrates how to fillet the tuna. That's the key. Oh, okay, so you're, you're working the ladder line to divide the upper and lower. Exactly. <laughs> you don't realize it. <laughs> you take it right up. That is what? Now, what are you separating out? The ladder line that's, or the set of ribs? That's, that, that's the ribs. Gotcha. Okay. And okay, then we come in here, actually. We don't need this. We're going to keep, you're going to save the tail, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So each squadron is called a loin? Yeah. Basically. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Okay. Gotcha. Nice. Okay. Look at that. Looks like a, looks like a yeah, that's easy. Your uh, back strap. Yeah. You don't yep. like that. Yeah. Now here, what you've got, this is, this is what you got. This is called a toro. Okay. Okay, this is what the Japanese go wacko over. Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great, the whole thing's ruined now. So that's that's your Toro right there. Now this this is what you want to smoke. Okay. Now in Japan, this is what they use for sushi. Oh, okay. The, the Toro. And why? It's got more fat content? They just like this meat, yeah, and, and you, you can see the fat in there. Mm -hmm. oh, so you yeah. see the layer of fat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now I we're gonna- poke that out the fire, David. Oh, okay. Get a smoker out there. We'll pack that up and... Sure. Oh, that's huh? an extra. What you want to do is you clean that off. Yeah, okay. Don't you hate when that happens? Well, it's just going to have a real sharp knife. That's what I'm well, using. all in all, it was a fantastic morning on the Atlantic with five hookups on bluefin tuna. I'd like to thank Captain Bill Strakel for another great day of angling in the Cape Cod area, and he now says that he is running charters out of Moorhead City, North Carolina in the off-season. I'll guarantee it will be back for more in the future targeting stripers and tuna. Hey, thanks for watching Get Real Fishing, and feel free to contact me, Captain Dave Adrian, if you happen to have a unique angling adventure you'd like to share. And we'll see you next time on Get Real Fishing.